What up, what up, what up, fellow agents? Pure Prime here. Today, I'm going to show you the whole vendor reset of Cassie Mendoza. Are you ready? Let's go! And there she is, guys. Of course, we need to talk to the snitch first. After that, we can talk to Cassie. The first thing she sells us is the long stick. It's the named marksman rifle. It has a roll of 10% marksman rifle damage, 81% headshot damage, and 7% critical hit chance. And of course, perfect ranger on there. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 4 meters you are away from your target. Then we got the named Alps backpack with the perfect tech support on there and the attributes 7.3% skill damage and 9.1% critical hit damage. Not that great if you ask me. Then we got the shield splinter. Of course she will sell us this when you opened up the ivory box in the White House. So make sure that you killed all the old hunters. So all the hunters that drop an ivory key for you. All the new hunters have been added will drop another key for a key box in New York City. So make sure that you killed all the hunters or get all the eight ivory keys so you could open the box in the White House and this will give you the chance to buy the Shield Splinter every week at gas. So let's see. This has a 10% assault rifle damage roll, 8% health damage roll, and 7.3% accuracy. And of course, perfect optimist on there. Weapon damage is increased by 4% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. It could be better, but that 10% and 8% is decent. We know that the 11% health damage and the 15% assault rifle damage is the max cap. And in my opinion, for the attributes, go for damage to target out of cover or damage to armor. So leave this gun, guys. We will get a few better ones. Or in our next reset or, of course, in the open world. Then the hardwired backpack, 15k health on there not that great then we got almost 4k armor per second regeneration for the hardwired fast not that great if you ask me 8.7 percent weapon damage and 9.9 percent skill haste for the ongoing directive gloves then we got a Negotiator's Dilemma knee pads with a 6.5% explosive resistance and 9.8% weapon damage. The hardwired holster will give us almost 4k armor per second regeneration. Then the mask from hardwired will give us 15.4k health. And yeah, the guns aren't that great. Only this one, in my opinion, you can buy. And not for the critical hit chance because that's around 21%. But like I said, the damage to target out of cover. Go for this guys. Or of course, damage to armor. This helps so much in taking down heavies. Believe me, go for this. So if you don't have a roll just yet for damage out of cover for your SMG, pick this up guys. Pick this up. The magazine size maybe, but yeah, who needs a handgun now, you know? We don't have a third talent anymore. The only handgun that I use is the perfect finisher. Then the Richter and Kaiser backpack with 10% weapon handling and 7.2% headshot damage and clutch on there. Then the Richter and Kaiser holster, 8.8% hazard protection and 4.1% critical hit chance. Then we got a 15.6% repair skill. That's a pretty decent mod. This will help you boost your health for your skills. So if you use this mod, this will boost up your skills in health. Just like the armor repair that we have from the blue mods. 
and then the 5.7% heal for your chem launcher. And this is a pretty decent one. I never found higher than 5.2, so I bought myself one. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Cassie today. Quick and easy. I wanted to show you everything. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course, the notification bell. Pure Prime out. Thank <laughs> you.